Professor Kenneth Hughes was born in Melbourne, Australia in 1981. His doctoral dissertation was on Heraclitus, the dark philosopher of ancient Greece, whose most memorable line was, War is the father of all things. He settled in Rome there to live the life of an independent scholar and philosopher. He began writing a book of observations on contemporary politics, an idea that had preoccupied him for some time. 
originally entitled The Spectacle of Society, it was planned as an exposition, deconstruction, and analyzation of the current trends in Western civilization and its ever-accelerating progression towards international crisis. He saw Western civilization marching off to suicide. The economical crisis of 2008 only confirmed in his mind the validity of his thesis. For Hughes, each high culture has a distinguishing feature or a prime symbol. The Egyptian symbol, for example, was the way or path which can be seen in the ancient Egyptians preoccupation with religion, art and architecture with the sequential passages of the soul. The prime symbol of the classical culture was the point present concern, that is, the fascination with the nearby, the small, the space of immediate and logical visibility. Note here Euclidean geometry, the two-dimensional style of classical painting, relief sculpture, and the aesthetic omission of facial expression in Grecian busts and statues, signifying nothing behind or beyond the outward. The prime symbol of Western culture is the Faustian soul, symbolizing the upward reaching for nothing less than the infinite. This is a tragic symbol, for it reaches what even the reacher knows is unreachable. The prime symbol affects everything in culture, manifesting itself in art, science, technics, and politics. Each culture's symbol soul expresses itself, particularly in its art, and each culture has an art form that is most representative of its own symbol. In the classical era, the symbols were sculpture and drama. High cultures are living things, organic in nature, and must pass through the stages of birth, development, fulfillment, decay, death. Hence, a morphology of history. All previous cultures have passed through these distinct stages, and Western culture can be no exception. In fact, its present stage in the organic development process can be pinpointed.
the civilization phase witnesses drastic social upheavals, mass movements of peoples, continual wars, and constant crises, all taking place alongside the growth of the great metropolis, huge urban and suburban centers that sap the surrounding countrysides of their vitality, intellect, strength, and soul. The inhabitants of these urban conglomerations, now the bulk of the populace, are a rootless and materialistic mass who seek out nothing more than to be distracted by sports, television, and social networks.